Welcome back. You're joining me just in time for Operation Soaring Sleep. It's a small UFO shootdown, getting tired of saying that, in Australia. And we're going into the farmhouse that it crashed at to try and secure the UFO, secure at least one captive with the single arc throw charge we brought, get some level ups for our troop, get some kills for Morgan, get another tech sergeant, and finally, of course, we want to make this farm safe again for Farmer McIntyre or whoever it is who runs this place. So let's get down there. Let's see what's going on. Copy, Big Sky. Strike one is clear to attempt the breach. Now, instantly from our vantage point here of uh, Farmer McIntyre's Wildfire Emporium, you can see two of the melt canisters. You got one right here, one down the end. Now, this one's far away, so if we're going for that one, it's going to be a while before we hit the UFO itself. This one's quite close to the UFO. Uh, almost threatening an activation if the outsider pod is too close to us. So what we're probably going to be doing is sneaking through the barn, Controlling the barn, if we have no contact, sneaking out and trying to grab this at risk of potentially activating an outsider, but probably not. Uh, and then, depending on the contact we've had and or heard, we'll either reroute around the map and try to grab that additional mail before we come in for a door breach. Or, if, um, if we reckon we've dealt with all the contact on the map by that point, we'll just go straight in. Um, the doorway actually is not the best place to approach this particular UFO because there's a bug on this barn map where this doorway lets line of sight through it and you'll end up having an activation through this doorway anyway. So it's just as safe to come from... I usually come from this left side. Um, regardless, it's time to go grab us some meld uh, and save Farmer McIntyre's farm. So let's get into it. First in best dressed. The alloy shiv is always the best dressed. It's dressed in alloys, what more do you want? They gave me some position. And we're gonna start making way towards that melt canister. This first turn double move I make with the alloy shiv is becoming kind of customary for me. Oh, and there's a good reason not to do it, as I was about to say. Coming kind of customary for me when I'm trying to get this meld early, but of course, you know, it's liable to go wrong for me if I end up activating something nasty, kind of like that floater pod last mission. Uh, and the key to that is the alloy shiv has the health to tank if that happens. That's why I'm comfortable doing it with him, but not anyone else. But we have got us some mutons on the right, and I'm glad I brought that single arc thrower charge, even if what's definitely going to happen is I'm going to get it down to one health after a lot of risk and heartache, and then the 50% will fail, and I'm going to throw my keyboard down a flight of stairs, as I keep quoting to you. But our first objective, then, is going to be to grab this meld canister, I think. We shouldn't activate an outsider doing so, and it's going to give us more time to try and capture the mutons that are down there, who are hopefully not berserkers. I would prefer that they are not berserkers. That would make my day much, much better. Uh, we'll see if the game cares. I'm rolling. What are you fucking doing down there, trying to jumpstart the ute? A ute is a truck, by the way, for you Americans. It's a pickup truck. Ute, it's a utility truck. It's what we call it here in the Commonwealth. Just so you know. It's not like a sex thing. Just, just wanted you to know that. On my way. I'm on the move. And remember, we gotta get as many kills as we can on Morgan. Overwatch, aye aye. Hello there. Avoid additional activations because we got contact. Blow that shit up, that's right. Let him in. Seek is just knocking on the window like, hello? Can you open this thing? Now, J-Bells is a fire in the whole Rocketeer. He's not going to react well to having the move and shoot. But boy, is he accurate when he's steady aimed and firing the hold. I can potentially pull a really sneaky rocket here, still hit them all. And that is a fucking good scatter. God, firing the hole makes a big difference. That is amazing. Um, we might just try and go for... Oh, that's not going to hit the bottom one. We might just try and go for a really cheesy shredder rocket to hit him. Deal some damage. 
0.1 scatter. Literally what can go wrong? Bring in the pain. Nothing. Nothing can go wrong. Wide view. Beautiful. Now they can be finished off with Stolly's heat grenades if we need to. Just gotta make sure we don't go any further to the right. Don't go any further than Fraggy has already scouted, and we will be fine. Move Fraggy up to this position. He's got eyes on everything but the drone. Stolly now has corner cover. Stolly's safe to grenade if things go wrong. We've got a real backup plan established here to deal with all this shit. Everything is dead if we want it to be. And that means we can take some pretty weak ass shots against these things and not be too scared. Just gotta watch out. Even that one extra tile to the right could be deadly. Ah, but everyone wants to move that way. Why? You fuckers. Well, let's move in here then. I'm rolling. Try and get some eyes on these varmints. Try and get some kills on Morgan too, not forgetting that. It'll be okay. There won't be mutons one tile away. I guarantee it. Not actually, I guarantee. Probably very lucky. Uh, we're running onto this position, get Morgan some kills. Going in for the kill. Yes, please. Running. I told you, I fucking told you. It would be the one mission I don't get repair on that the mutons would be on. I knew it! I knew it! Because that is XCOM, ladies and gentlemen. That is XCOM. Tell what else is XCOM. Morgan can only see that one from her position, and yet I she can see these two. That is weird. All right, snipe one if you can, Daishi. There's a good girl. Excellent work. Really excellent work. Panzer skank, you feeling it? She's not feeling it. Local woman not feeling it. Fraggy might be feeling it. Oh yeah, Fraggy's definitely feeling it. Tell you what, let's go first. I'm not gonna use a grenade on that. Go with Stully first. All right, Fraggy's definitely feeling it. I feel it with Fraggy. Fraggy. Fra he does this sometimes. He's a showman. He thinks about it. He thinks about the best way to kill it. But that's going well. That's good. Now, the only thing is that drone. Maybe Dr. Sheep will prove what a great rookie she is and pick it up on Overwatch. Maybe it, maybe she won't. Okay. Holy shit, those mutons are close. That is immediate contact on my right. Do not head right at all. Just go forward. Hello. Namaste. Fraggy giving very little shits right now. Fraggy gonna pick up that meld for me, hopefully without activating. Shivs are probably the best thing to stealthily pick up meld because they don't poke out and get line of sight like a soldier who uses corner cover. So he'll just be able to grab that and then slink off without too much uh, danger. We need to start worrying about, speaking of danger, these mutons. Now if you can come around... Moving to position. This direction and give me a scan, that seems prudent right now. Or you could not. Okay. Maybe next turn you'll feel like it, that's okay. Um, but we do need to watch out for these mutons who are encroaching on us. We keep our flashbangs and our guns ready. And our arc throw charges, of course. Me allí. Moving out. Right. Let's do this. Poniéndome en guardia. Oh, I see berserkers. Oh, please tell me I didn't just activate. Holy fuck, that is terrifying. Of course this is happening to me now. Um, it's berserkers and that looked like a double berserker pod. Um, if there's one thing that's not fun, it's berserkers. If there's one thing that's even less fun, it's two berserkers at once. How the fuck are we going to deal with... Oh, I know how I'm going to deal with this. 
<laughs> no, wait, shit. Fuck, because Fraggy's not a human, he can't get up there. Fuck. Um, we're gonna box strat it. These silos. This map is very fortuitous for fighting berserkers. Uh, we need to watch out for the floater. I think he had a floater with him, and that floater is gonna be a problem. We need to kill him so we can box strat it. But otherwise, we're just gonna sit up here and box strat. Um, the only problem being... Yeah, we've got four people to do one pillar, and then the other one's gonna be three, because Fraggy's a robot, he can't climb. Unless there's another way to do this. Nope, you can't box strat that roof. Uh, yeah, it's gonna have to be that way, I think. First things first, let's grab this, because it's, it's yelling at us. the meld. We're not going to be getting another meld anytime soon. We're going to be falling quite back, I, uh, I think. I don't know. I need a scan. I need to see. I didn't really see what that pod was. I needed to see exactly what that pod is uh, before we make any big calls. Probably get my Rocketeer up here uh, and to start with to get ready. Because fuck that noise. Seriously, fuck that noise. Let's put him right here. Headed there now. I need a scan. Moving out. Bulls on the farm. That's what we'll call this one. Bull rush on the farm. Something like that. Throw a scan out. See what you can see. Eyes in the sky. Try not to hit the berserker in the head of it. He might not like it. That is a double berserker pod. That oh fuck me. That's a triple berserker pod. Oh, you better believe we're box stratting this. Okay, but there's only one floater. I think. I only need to kill one floater, and then I can box them with impunity. Maybe I can try to get a Berserker captive? <laughs> I don't know. This is going to be fun. This is going to be, uh, yeah, interesting, fun. There's a lot of adjectives you could use to describe what's about to happen. Uh, none of it matters unless we can kill that floater, so let's hope we can kill that floater. Fuck me, I don't want to go anywhere near that. I do not with this fucking rookie ass squad. Holy shit, not even close, baby. Everyone in this squad is going to panic as soon as they shoot one of these berserkers. The only way we're going to survive this, this will probably be an evac, except for the fact that we can sit on these silos and shoo them off with brooms when they try to jump up to us. That's really all we've got going for us right now. So everyone really needs to get in position to be ready to dash to the top of those silos at a moment's notice, because that's the strat. That's it. That's... That's the only way we're living through this. Not even Morgan is going to get us out of this one without those silos. And I wish I just had eight people on this mission because that would make it really even, even easier. But as it is, four people are going to have to sit up on the top silo. And then the other four are just going to have to run around double moving away from the berserkers screaming. Do not activate... The Berserkers. Me dirijo allí. On the move. Holy shit. Do not activate those Berserkers. Roger. I've got my eyes on. I'll fucking sit up here in no cover. I don't give a shit. The floater can fucking shoot me. I've got carapace. I'll still survive longer than fucking taking these motherfuckers on. Not a chance, baby. Raggy's gonna have to kite him. It's gonna be funny. Oh, and here they come. That is fucking terrifying for a small UFO. And this is why you do not take bad teams on small UFOs, because eventually you will get a pod like this. Oh, Nelly. Oh, Nelly, oh boy. We just gotta pick off that floater. That's all we gotta do, and we're totally safe here. Heading there now. Oh man, oh god, oh god, oh man. Oh man, oh god. Who's gonna be on the silo? Um Rocketeer's slow as fuck, so him. Shadow Ray guy's quick, Shadow Ray guy can run around. Rookies are pretty quick. They can probably run around. We should we should line them up and have like a, a foot race. A virtual foot race to determine who the slowest people are. Because they need to sit on top of the silo. And the people with the most damage, of course. 
So, I mean, Sprinter dies, she, she's gonna be running. No contest. She's gonna be one of the ones running. Let's line everybody else up. Let's have a virtual foot race. <laughs> and go from there, I guess. This is the first time I've ever had to do a virtual foot race. Morgan's pretty slow. And she's gonna be putting out a lot of good firepower, so we'll put her up on the silo. Holy shit, this is terrifying. Everybody who placed lower than third in the XCOM corporate... <laughs> XCOM corporate fun run, um, please place yourselves on top of the silo. First, second, and third place, please prepare to run for your lives. Alright, so J-Bow's no contest. Rocketeers are slow as balls. Panzer Skank looks pretty slow. Let's do our foot race here, what do we got? Uh... Yeah, obviously Daishi's running. That's, uh, that's a no-brainer. Looks like they're gonna walk on top of Fraggy, too. Scary stuff. Alright. Morgan's pretty fucking slow. Morgan's going up on top of the, the roof. Location confirmed. Who else is slow? Stolly seems like she'd be a bit slow. Nah, she's average. She's average speed. Panda Skank's definitely slow. She's going up there. She's got a big gun. It'll be helpful. And you know, hmm. I mean, if I wanted to get really techy here, I should stick them on this silo instead. Because worst case, I can go three here, four here, stick Fraggy down the bottom. He's going to get wailed on, but if it's the difference between life or death, it could be worth it. Let's just get people ready, I guess. Elevation bonuses might help. In engaging these fuckers, I don't know. Fuck me, this is scary shit. Uh, for our last person, let's stick Stolly up on the top. And Stolly can throw grenades down with impunity. And it looks like um, the two rookies are going to be racing Daishi. Got anybody up there with a flashbang? That's another point. Maybe we should uh, stick someone up there with a flashbang. Ah, no, these, these are the slow guys. Fuck it. This is how it is. This is how it's got to be. Affirmativo. You three, you're running. Prep that sh fucking shredder. Explorando. We're gonna need it. Oh, if only Kem had finished. Here we go, here we go. It's happening. Kill that floater. Yes, yes, yes! Yes, Raggy, yes! Damn it! I need you to kill the floater. Okay. Please just sit still, Floater, or flank yourself. Welcome to one of the scariest enemies in the mid-game. This is the Berserker. If you- Yeah, look straight at me, fucking Daishi. Daishi's looking at me from the camera like, Can you believe this shit? Um, if you've never in Oh, please kill it. Please, yes, 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 yes. Somebody. God bless you, Daishi. That's the starter's pistol, and they're off. The race begins. Um, if you've never fought Berserkers before, or encountered them, um, they're affectionately- walls of meat. Um, you can see them here all crowding around Fraggy like, ooh, is this... is this meld? What is this? Has the meld had a child? It looks like the meld. Um, holy fuck, this is incredible. <laughs> they just love Fraggy. Go, go ahead, Fraggy, look at him. Don't be shy. Fraggy doesn't want to look at him. Um, these things are just fucking terrifying. Every time you shoot them, they will run four steps at whoever shot them while making that person roll a panic check. This squad has so many low-ranked people with no will that that is really a terrifying prospect, let me tell you. Um, they also can jump up uh, vertical surfaces with absolutely no problem. Um, some of them get sprinter. They do incredible amounts of damage when they hit you. They can move pretty far. And to top it all off, if you're in cover, they can 
uh, hit you with their full move. They've got a thing called Bull Rush. So let's say I'm in this cover. They can do a gold move and then hit me at the end of the turn by blowing up my cover. These things are terrifying. We're going to be doing our best to box strat the fuck out of them because fuck these things. The main danger I need to worry about here is if I chain panic off one of these shooters onto my rookies. So probably at all times I need to keep my rookies out of line of sight of the berserkers. Uh, and what better time to start than right the fuck now running away from my squad. Uh, it's probably going to be good. Um, yeah, let's, let's get the fuck away from my squad, I think. Let's just start running. Um... Yeah. Yeah, let's... Let's maybe run to this position where we're not going to be in line of sight of our squad. Um... And that way, we're not going to get panic chained when it happens. You guys are liabilities right now, rookies. Just fucking run, okay? You listening? Just fucking run. Do not stop running. Holy shit. Um, and Daishi, you may as well start running too. For the exact same reasons. Location confirmed. Fraggy, uh, maybe you can lead them off. Like, anywhere but here. I don't know. They might be able to catch you at that rate. That's pretty bad because they've got you cornered there. The only way I can go that wouldn't... Oh god, I'm going to activate the outsider. If I activate the outsider, it's curtains, So I need to make sure I don't activate him. Probably just run in here. They shouldn't be able to catch me. Now they're all around that mel, don't forget, if we lose sight on them. Okay. I'd love to shred these brutes. Um, problem being... It's gonna draw them close to the Fraggy, and then Fraggy's gonna get fucking pelters, so we'll probably just overwatch them. Save the shred till they're closer to the Pillar of Doom here. Alright. So probably our best friend here is going to be Overwatch Fire. You don't trigger the free move or the Intimidate roll on Overwatch. So if we can just keep Overwatching them, that would be ideal. Overwatch. And keep running away from them forever. Yeah, That's the game. Overwatch. Aye, aye. And let's just hope they can't reach Fraggy. So here we go. We need some good damage. Eh. Don't write home about it. Das ist nicht gut. Nice job, Panzer. This is fucking awesome. I feel like I'm Doom Marine. Standing on top of a fucking pillar. Just shooting down at demons in red armor. Oh god, he's running for my troops. He knows about them. Oh lord, he's cutting them off. That's terrifying. I gotta get my rookies out of that corner. They're getting cut off. Alright, I'm gonna shred that shit. They're clustering. These things are like football players, except instead of playing football, they end your life. Look at them just not even care about Fraggy. They know. Oh, and they regenerate. Did I mention that? Yeah. So first up, I should be able to side up everybody. So I shouldn't be able to panic chain anyone off this. I'm going to hit them with a big, nice bit of shredding. I need to move Fraggy first. He's going to get heat fucked. Let's uh, put you over here, Fraggy. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, let's put you over here. It'll be good. Let's go for our shredding. Right on Mr. Big Man. We'll call him John Madden, the middle one. And we're going to shred these guys, and that is going to help hugely. And I should probably prepare my Overwatch shots already. We'll overwatch. Overwatch of you. Because they're going to run at me, I may as well prepare my overwatch. Uh, overwatch of you. Fuck, those things are scary. I'm going to have to flashbang them to get my rookies out of here, I think. Or they're going to corner my little rookies who are carrying in the corner. Alright, put the shredder on John Madden. And the letter rip. Oh, this is scary. Fuck you, you big assholes. Get him, get him, get him. 
Alright, there goes the panic chain. You can see why I had absolutely no desire to fight these things on equal ground, because, yeah. Look at that fun, huh? Off the first shot I took at him. Isn't that fun? Isn't one-eighth of your, uh, two-eighths of your squad just panicking just fun? Isn't that fun? That's fun. Fuck you, Berserkers. I'm gonna take you shit out. I will throw a grenade on all these chumps. Start wearing them down. And this is the only good thing about the block strat, is even if they panic, it doesn't matter. That's the only good thing about this. Plus, I can keep them coming at me. So they're shredded. This grenade's gonna do extra damage. Get him, Stolly. Fuck him up. Show him how you play football. Stolly impressively not panicking off that. That's pretty good. And now we've managed to open up ground for us to run away. Very good. <laughs> the rookies are free. Run, rookies. <laughs> Wasn't expecting this shit on my first operation, says the rookie. Holy shit. Run, rookies, run. Run for freedom. I hope this half cover fence doesn't count as bull rushable cover. Because I would have a fucking fit if they just bull rush me right now. A fucking fit, I tell you. An absolute fit. Because that is the extent of the map, goddammit. I will not stand for you bull rushing my rookies to death. Okay, they're running for the shiv. That's good. Run for the ship, that's fine. Don't bull rush my rookies. That one's running for my rookies. I don't like where that's going. Please just kill it, Daishi. Very close. Not quite. I am really scared that he's gonna bull rush this half cover. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I close my eyes. <laughs> I'm alive! I'm alive! Okay. Alright. If, uh... Well, this one's fucking gonna let me capture it. Oh my god, I'm gonna be really pleased if I get this. Cameron McDonald, do you wanna go down as history as the best rookie ever on your first mission? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Fuck yes! Cameron McDonald, you are the fucking G man! You are the G unit! Oh my god! <sighs> Give you some context? I've been trying to get a Berserker captive in my Twitch campaign for a long time. It's like July 2016, like the second year. I just got a Berserker captive the first time they showed up, with a single use of an arc thrower charge on a fucking rookie in a free Berserker pod in August 2015. So yes, I'm pretty happy about how that's going for me. How are you guys going? Meanwhile, the ship needs to get away. Maybe we'll lead it back towards the Pillar of Doom. Maybe not quite yet. Let's just keep it on a goose chase for now. Keep the goose chase rolling. Chase me, cunts. Bad language, I'm sorry, but Berserkers bring it out of me. Oh my god, that is so fucking good. That's affirmative. That is incredible. That is so good that I'm not even going to risk an Overwatch shot standing next to cover. I'm not going to be anywhere near cover. Because I don't want any fucking chance that these motherfuckers are going to bull rush me. That is some good shit right there. Alright, let's prep uh, more ammo. What's your play, Berserkers? We're still chasing the Greyhound. We're still chasing the rabbit. These t these guys are just dog racing right now. They're just chasing the little mechanized thing. That's fine with me. Friends. Uh, so trust me when I say... This would have been the most terrifying thing ever if it hadn't been the barn map. And thank fucking god this was the barn map. Because these, these like, compacted gas silos are worth their weight in goddamn gold right now. Let's start leading them back towards the, uh, the Pillar of Doom, I guess. Just trying to make sure they're not going to be able to hit me. I 
think that should be fine right there, though. Yeah, come this way now, fuckos. Meanwhile, I'm on the horn, and my troops just like, Holy shit! No, you need to go the other way now! Fucking turn around! Go the other way! Yeah, boy. Just get gone. Just move. Double time. Good god. Hi, boy. Okay, my McDonald, you are the man. You are so the man. Reload. Reloaded. Overwatch. 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 You wanna steady a rocket for these motherfuckers? Nah. I want the bodies. Alright, where are they going? They're chasing Fraggy back inside. God bless you, Fraggy, you are the best. You are such an MVP. Metal valuable person. Metal valuable participant. And keep in mind, if there had been like maybe three floaters of this pod and one berserker, it would have been much harder. Because we wouldn't be able to do this bullshit where we just stay out of cover from it. That's what making that's what's making this possible, is that we can stay out of cover from them. That's really our only uh the only way we're managing to do this. But I'm not complaining. This is uh this is very good. I'm very pleased with this. Did I blow that shit up? Yeah, I blew that shit up. Okay. Probably get an overwatch through there. Then we're gonna run. I'm on the move. We all gonna run, you got that squad. We out. Prepare for trouble. Make it double. Here they come. The last hurrah of the berserkers. I hope. That's alright, buddy. Negative. Weapons dry. Looks like they're running for my rookies again. They're hungry for the rooks. They really want the rooks. No, nope. wait, they're coming for Fraggy now. Get him, Panzer Skank. Panzer Skank, please. Oh, yep, yeah, they're going for the rooks. Nope, he's just chilling. Okay, buddy. You both gonna chill? Yep, Berserker is apparently trying to test if it's true that XCOM rookies can't hit the broadside of a barn door. Well, we're sure about to find out, aren't we, you motherfuckers? Yes, we are. You still shredded? Oh, you're still shredded. Fuckos. Again, probably good to get my guys out of line of sight here. Because it was sure wouldn't be funny if we chain panicked right now. No, it would not. A lot of things these berserkers could potentially do it to us wouldn't be very Already funny. There. I would not be laughing. Alright, J-Bows. Time for some fun. What do you think? Yeah, just make sure you don't have Fraggy and um, nothing can go wrong. All is forgiven, no matter what. Won't even know what hit him. Uh-huh. You can panic now, it's okay. I won't be mad. That's fine. No! No! I wanna go home! Oh, baby, baby. It's scary. It's very scary. I don't blame you. Alright, I need to hit the big guy. So let's hit the big guy. I'm so scared every time I take a move against these things, like... They're just gonna magically reach through the screen and punch me like, Oh, you thought you were in control? Not nope. You fucked, son! Just waiting for that to happen. You thought you had this in the bag? Get fucked! And I start screaming and I wake up. Because that's my nightmare. Panzer with the... Reload. Overwatch. I mean with Panzer the Overwatch. Rookie of the Overwatch. Here he comes. 
See, most football players understand you've got to pick one end zone and run for it. The mistake these football players are making is they're running for many different end zones. Don't you bull rush me in the open. That shouldn't even be possible. I'm, I'm so scared of bull rush, I just expect them to do it for no reason. These things have fucked me up in the traumatic experiences I've had with them. I just don't trust them anymore. And that's the regen one. Fuck. Fuck off, regen one. Can somebody shoot it back this way, please? Make it come back this way, thank you. Hello. Berserker tennis. I love it. Hey, Panther Skank didn't even panic that time. Impressive. Okay. Fun's over now. You can stop running now, Fraggy. Oh, thank you, Commander. Dead and gone. Well, hooey! I could just spit. <laughs> Suey is a good fucking of uh, good fucking small UFO mission. Berserker captive. I like it. All right. Well, I guess now we're going to be moving on to capture the outsider because I imagine that's the only goddamn combat pod on this small UFO. Um, just a moment of silence for the bravest fucking gas canister tower that has ever existed. Um, I think I talked about in Into the Hive, the Newfoundland mission, about how it was like a space marine diorama firing down. Uh, pretty much every time you box strat it's like that. I've never box strat on these things before, this is new to me. And they're really high up and it makes it even more awesome. Just like raining fire down from this pillar, this watchtower. It's fucking awesome. I need to take a picture of this for the thumbnail, uh, and hopefully people won't see it and guess what, why, but it's just fucking awesome. Hang on. Fucking badasses. I tell you what. Absolute heroes of XCOM. Right there. Right in front of you. Consider yourself lucky to have met him. I almost accidentally hit F12 to take the screenshot. That would have been annoying. Uh, anyway. Time to head towards that UFO, baby. Marchando. And you, my big friend, you're coming home with us, and you're going to give us an armor research credit. Yes, you are. And you're going to give us Psy Panic. Matando. Maybe my psychic game won't suck in my live campaign, unlike my Twitch, where I still haven't got a Berserker captive. Ugh. <sighs> God bless these silos. Like, why are they even here? The guy at Fraxis making this map is like, alright, they got no cover. They're at, the, they're at, like, one corner of the map where you're hardly ever going to use them. But I'm going to make them. I'm gonna put them in because it's fucking... It's period accurate. It's realistic. I was on a farm once and they had these silos and you had ladders to get up on top of them because the ladders were necessary to, to service them. And god damn it, I'm putting them in the game. Thank you, committed to realism level designer, because your realism has saved a lot of lives today. Yes, it has. Oh my god, yes it has. What a great cap off to a week of UFO missions too. To have the UFO mission from hell and come out yeah. alive. Fantastic. I'm rolling. Now let's just try to kill that outsider without anyone dying. And I'll be willing to put this into the Guinness Book for one of the best missions ever. Just off that, I'm so glad I brought that one arc thrower. Just off that one. And it ran at me with two health. God bless it. God bless its dead soul. God fucking bless it. I might be able to do a rooftop, uh, depending on where the battle scanner reveals the outsider as, I might be able to do a rooftop insertion on him too. Be even better. Got it. You can come off the Tower of Terror now, boys and girls. You did good. You did real good. Headed there now. You didn't hold it together. You didn't even hit all your old shots, but you did the one thing you needed to do. Stay on the tower. God bless ya. You know, in uh, in previous betas, that wouldn't have worked. Let's do this. In previous betas, funnily enough, um, it was vanilla panic behavior for XCOM soldiers to run for cover when they got panicked. Um, you know, so these guys would have panicked and jumped down into the box, and they would have died. Um, but luckily for me, and quite amusingly, to fix a different exploit of... Um, to fix a different exploit where I think it was like you grenaded your own troops to get them to move or something. Like, if you had a troop in no cover and 
you got activations, you'd grenade them, they'd panic and run for cover, and the devs were like, fuck that. So they made it so troops would no longer run for cover. People were like, holy shit, fuck you guys, like, you fucked me. But, had they not made that change, that would never have worked. So, thank you devs. Thank you for allowing me to thrive with my box strats. Where's my battle scanner? I like to think I'm a pretty fair player most days. Aye, aye, Commander. But I tell you what, I will box strat every fucking time. I don't think it's an exploit. I think it's just good tactics. And I will box strat every day of the week. You can't stop me. I will never stop box stratting. Is that inside? I think that's actually inside, thank god. Incoming signal from battle scan. Show me where the cheesel is. Alright, buddy. Can we get a roofed up on that? I don't know what to tell you. I reckon that's a little bit too cheesy. That's dangerously cheesy because he's going to spot me as I move through. I reckon we'll just go for a standard activation from the right instead. And we'll call it a day. Don't talk to me more about it. That'll be it. Let's get the let out troops. Let's try and save that extra metal canister. If you let that die, it might not be considered the perfect mission in the rulebook. Commander, I don't position. want to leave the tower. And j Bal's had a tower built in XCOM base from the sleep on. He started taking top bunk, Explorando. so the berserkers couldn't get him. Explorando. Put all his pillars on the edge of it, so the berserker was blocked from jumping up. Cross around the right here, gang. I'm on the move. You've done great work, but don't choke now. The outside is still a threat, no matter what you've fought to get here. I'm on it, Commander. But still. Good job, Strike One. Really good stuff. Getting it done. Sure. In game, they couldn't actually climb up. But in reality, they were trying to climb up, and we're fighting them off like... <laughs> oh, they don't have suppressing fire! One of them climbs up and grabs fucking... Panzer skank on the leg. j -Bos is like, oh my god, he's freaking out. Morgan's over like... Shoots it off, it falls off like King Kong falling off the Empire State Building. This shit's intense in my head, I swear to god. I mean, it was intense anyway, but it's even more intense in my head. On my way. CMCD, the hero of XCOM. Today. Maybe not tomorrow, but today, CMCD is the hero of XCOM. Moving out. In the Panzer's gang doing pretty well on her first mission too. She had some good shots. She didn't even panic at that last uh, shot. Solid copy. Can't ask for much more than that when you're dealing with berserkers and you've caught specialists. Alright, squad. Let's do this. Let, 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 let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. Leroy J -J 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 Jenkins. I got one flashbang and it's got your name on it, Outsider. No matter what I gotta do to get it to work. Holy shit, Sprinter. Insanity. Alright. Let's move out first as the Sprinter. Heading out. Activate. Enemy spotted. That is an... Interesting place. Oh, he's got a rock. He's got a rock. Look out. Gonna need a flashbang on this varmint. And some grenades if possible. Boy. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's why we pixel hunt. Alright, and then we just gotta get uh, Stolly in position. 
I think this position will do for no particular yeah, reason. Impressively, the UFO has just ruptured apart. Either that or it's made out of rock. They ran out of alloys. Uh, regardless, don't blow up the power source, but we can blow up the rocks. You don't have to bring the rocks home, that's fine. We don't need more rocks to sell. Just blow the fucker up. There you go. But Beagle! Beagle, what if you miss? You're out of cover. Am I? Am I? Hey, what the fuck? I am! No, I'm not. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. I don't know. I was gonna gloat, but it's okay. Don't worry about it. Killing will be fun enough. Thought I was so clever. I left that to laugh on last on purpose. Deal some damage. I know who deserves the honor of this kill. I know I said I was gonna level up Morgan though. Fuck it. Fuck it. The dude... The dude captured a fucking berserker on his first mission. He's earned this one. Get in there, CMCD. This is your kill. Oh my god, you can't hit that for shit. What the fuck? <laughs> CMCD! Why do you have 72%? It's hollow targeted. That's terrible. <laughs> CMCD doesn't want it. No, Commander. It's not fair. Don't put emotions in front of strategy. Level kill. up, Morgan. Alright, CMCD. You're actually even better than I first thought. Running. You're so selfless and you captured a berserker. Commander, the operation was a success. You're perfect. Alright, well. I think that was a perfect UFO mission. I think we got both the melds. All our arc throwers hit, which is easy when you only have one of them, I guess. And we got a Berserker captive. It's like when you get married, like, and you, you, you say your last name, like, I'm Mrs. I'm Mrs. Kozlowski, and you can't believe it, but you still say it, and you giggle. That's what it means to me when I say I got a Berserker captive in August. It's like, <laughs> I just want to keep saying it. I want to call Bradford on the phone and be like, honey, we got, a, we got a fucking Berserker captive. And he's like, I know, I was there. Anyway. Oh my god, I'm so happy. And I got a tech sergeant. Praise Jesus. Oh my god, he didn't level? Who is in charge of this organization that CMCD did not level off capturing that berserker? You put, put this man on the fast track. This is the hero of XCOM, are you kidding me? Dr. Sheep was okay too. He runs pretty fast. Okay, well, tank and spank assault, so it's going to be extra conditioning for Morgan. Not a big fan of Killer Instinct without the rapid fire to work of running gun. So there we go, more tanking and spanking. Maybe it should be a little bit faster now, that extra mobility. Oh my god, we got a Berserker captive, I still don't believe it. Uh, two damaged flight computers, but we've got a power source, which is also very nice. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, so we've gathered a few extra weapon fragments now. I'm thinking of switching gears, going sectoid autopsy, um, selling those, because I've got two, so I need, I need to get sectoid autopsy done in interrogation because I have so many, excuse me, that was very uncouth, very, uh, I've got a lot of sectoid captives, I need to interrogate them so that I can start selling them to the council, um, for, uh, a very nice little, um, uh, scientist boost. So I might go sectoid autopsy, start selling those captives, and then trade my weapon fragments in to get Gorse, Gauss. Then again, I am 15 days into aerospace concepts, a technology I do need to do. Um, it really comes down to how much it's going to cost to do aerospace concepts, I suppose. But no price is too high. I mean, my air game's starting to falter. It's going to fall apart if I don't get these aerospace concepts going. I'm going to stick with concepts for now, I think. But, we, uh, you know, worst case, I saw some power sources to get aerospace concepts going. Like, uh, my air game is starting to fall apart. It's taken too many hits and the repair times are too long. Um, but there's a few more little bit of cells, uh, sellings going on there. Uh, I think we can keep on carrying on. Oh, do I need more, more rookies? Nah, I still got two rookies. It's alright. Can't believe they're still rookies, but st they're still rookies. 
Commander. All right. We're tracking several reported abductions via the Hologlobe. It never ends. I got the coordinates locked in. But at least as a heavy abduction, so we can finally take our good troops that we've been saving. So, in Guangzhou, China, for the heavy abduction on the urban block, let me gear up a actually good team for the first time in like four or five episodes, and we'll be heading out. Alright, so what you're looking at here is our A-team who we've been saving quite religiously from these small missions exactly for an occasion like this. Um, probably just as well we did. Um, still the exhaust is real. I had to exhaust slowly because a lot of our engineers are getting exhausted. Um, that's just how it's going. We just need a corporal engineer on this one. Uh, and we've got some other engineers coming back in to replace us soon. Um, but we are getting a little bit teetering on the thin ice here with our exhaust. We've got to watch that. Um, but it is necessary for here, uh, I think. Meanwhile, Fraggy is gonna, we can't really, we, we got the same thing with assault, but we can't really afford to keep exhausting our assault, I don't think. Fraggy's gonna come along, solve that problem for us, he's gonna assault them with his charisma, and his huge, uh, you know, alloy plating and heat ammo and flashing. Renzol, bring in the fire with the rockets, uh, we got AO and Cell, bring in the death. Uh, DSM Scout, finally getting used. Um, Alex D work experience kids coming along to bring some flashbangs. Uh, I paused in the middle, I was like trying to figure out what I want to do with him. I was considering taking Steadfast, because after those Berserkers I'm thinking, hey, it'd be good if one guy on my squad wouldn't panic, guaranteed. Um, and then I realized, you know what? It kind of makes him someone I never take on the important missions. I wouldn't take a Steadfast Medic on a base assault, or a base defense or an exalt based assault, or any of those important long missions, you need revive, because if someone goes down, you need them back up to complete the mission. Um, and revive you can't get from an item, and what pushed it out of the edge for me is you can't get revive from an item. You can get steadfast from an item. Steadfast is just alien trophy in a perk. So I can get tack rigging, or I can just waste a slot, and I can take alien trophy. I'd rather have do that and still have revive. You can't just get revive from a perk. Um, apart from that, I need to stick a laser pistol on someone I just realized. Um, why don't we make it EQ so he's actually got a self-defense option so he we are going into an urban block. I briefly consider the strike rifle on EQ, but without enough alloy plates to go around to go onto him, I don't really want to fuck around with one of my best snipers being in range of the enemy. So we're going to try and keep him far back no matter what the map is. Uh, and if that's difficult, that's difficult. Uh, but anyway, I realize what I'm going to do with Alex D. He's going to be exactly the same as all my other medics, except he's going to be my first new breed of medic. I was talking about how combat drugs is probably better late. I'm going to go for combat drugs of Alex D. He's going to be my first combat drugs medic. And there you go. That's the future of Alex D. He's going to be leading the charge uh, when Sionics start coming out and we're assaulting bases every month. So that's going to be an exciting time for him. He's going to be a badass. He's going to be doling out the combat drugs to everybody. Getting that morphine going. Um, but anyway, enough chit chat. I believe my team is all registered and ready here. We're alloy plated up, we're scoped up. Got a couple of flashbangers, grenades, explosives. We got a little tank that fucking does not give a shit. It's still got berserker blood on it from the last mission. And it never sleeps. God bless that it never sleeps. That is really important to me. Um, we're gonna head out there and we're gonna see what we can do. Let's head out. Prepare for deployment, strike one. We're heading into China for the next operation. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Been a while since I've been to the paper mill. In fact, uh, yeah, I guess it hasn't been since that time that we've been to the paper mill. That crazy time where we went down that right side and almost got caught flat-footed by floaters. Remember that? That was a long time ago, wasn't it? Um, yeah, anyway. Join me next time for Operation Red Stranger as we return to the shop for paper ink. Until then, have a good one.